So before we get this video started, as of May 30th, Tamron has officially acknowledged that there is an autofocus issue with the lens, especially in video mode. So I'll link that official press statement in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. But pretty much the gist is that they will release a firmware update to fix this. Not sure when, but the update should be coming very soon. And the update can be done through camera so we don't have to worry about sending the lens back in. So good news indeed. What's going on, hybrid shooters? It's Jason Vaughn. Welcome back to another Gear Talk Thursday. Actually, we're going to be focusing on the same gear, the Tamron 2075 F2.8. We're back out here running another test. Now, in my first impressions, I said there's a bit of an autofocus issue with the Tamron 2075, but when the autofocus works, it works pretty well. Now, I was using this at a wedding. I was trying to capture the bridesmaid and the bride walking down the aisle during the procession. And I did notice that this lens doesn't really do a good job keeping them as focused as they're walking towards the camera. Now in the past, I shot with the G Master 24 to 70, did a great job keeping the bride and the bridesmaid walking down the aisle perfectly just fine. So I really want to test that theory and see if the G Master has a more reliable autofocus than the Tamron 2075. Now one important thing to note here is that both of these lenses will be tested on the same body, the Sony A7 III. We don't have two A7III's, we're gonna be using it on the same body, so let's go, let's do this, come on. Roll the camera. Oh, actually here, take the lens first. All right, so we're starting off with the Tamron first with the focus speed at normal and standard 28 millimeters. And it seems like it's doing a pretty good job keeping me in focus as I'm walking towards the camera. Let's walk back now. Seems like it's doing a really good job. Uh, loses me right there a little bit, but that's completely okay. Here we are with the G Master at 24 millimeters. Started off really solid. Looking good so far. Kept up pretty well. Let's walk backwards. Oh, it lost me in the middle right here. And uh, got me back in focus. Pretty good. Here we are with the 50, with the Tamron, and it's not doing too hot right now. I think I'm in focus now, I can't really tell. Nope, not really. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna walk back. Now the more important thing here for me is keeping the subject in focus as they walk towards the camera. It's not very often that I shoot an object or a subject walking away from the camera. Okay, here we are 50 with the G Master and it's doing really well. Nice, not bad, kept up extremely well. Very happy with that. Walking backwards, doing a phenomenal job. Very nice. 75 to a pop test. And again, the Tamron is pulling focus a lot faster than the G Master as you'll see here next. Yep, took a little while. Here we are at 75 with the Tamron as I'm walking towards the camera. Doing a really good job. Nice, not bad. Dig it, I dig that result. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's see here. I'm walking backwards and it's taken quite a while to reacquire focus on me and... Okay, it's losing it there. Not too good, not too good. Okay, so it looks like I'm doing the test again just to make sure. Okay, okay, this time walking towards the camera, doing a pretty good job. And still loses me as I get too close, but that's okay. I was too close anyways. Here we're at 70 with the G Master. Started off pretty strong. Still looking good. Okay, so I didn't get too close for this one. <laughs> okay, me walking backwards, doing a great job. And coming back one more time to make sure. Very nice. All right, so we interrupt this test because uh, a lot of people were asking
asking me on Instagram and as well as the YouTube comments, does the Tamron 20 to 75 lens make any sort of noise when it's auto focusing? Only if you bring it up to your ear like this close do you actually hear anything, but in the real world when you're actually shooting something, the mic, the shotgun mic right now, wouldn't be able to pick it up. I mean, I don't know, do you guys hear anything? All right, resuming the test, we changed the focus speed to fast and responsive now. And it started off soft, but after it acquires focus, it's doing a really good job at 28 with the Tamron. Here we are at 24 with the G Master. Nice, solid work from the G Master right here. Popping up with the 50. Ah, again, really fast on the Tamron. With the G Master now, and um, it's, it seems like it's a little slower than the Tamron, and not as smooth when it racks focus to my face. Here with the Tamron, started out soft, but after it acquires focus, it's doing a really good job. Here it is with the G Master. Again, somewhat the same, started off soft, but after it acquires focus, it's doing a really good job. Popping out at 75 here with the Tamron. Again, really quick. And the focus seems to be a lot smoother. Whereas the G Master, not quite as smooth. And again, a little slower. Walking towards the camera at 75 with the Tamron. Not doing a bad of a job. Pretty good, actually. Very solid stuff. And here we are at 70 with the G Master. Looking really good. All right, so the Tamron didn't do so bad overall like I thought it would. It kept up pretty well behind the G Master. I'm still gonna say the G Master is a little bit more reliable than the Tamron, but after doing this test, I'm a little more confident with the Tamron. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of the retest. Did you think the G Master is a lot more reliable than the Tamron, or is it the other way around, or they're both the same? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.